Today we're taking a look at three impressive conference cameras from Kandao, and that's coming up right after this. Over the past couple of years, remote working has become a necessity in many people's lives and today we're taking a look at three conference cameras to really improve that experience. Before we get started though, please let me know in the comments who out there is doing work remotely and if you haven't already, then hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing in the future. So full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Kandao and they've sent me the products for free to showcase to you guys. So if we start with the unboxing, we first have the biggest one of the bunch, the Kandao Meeting. Inside the box, we get the manual, the Kandal meeting, the power cable, and the USB cable. The overall design is very much similar to a Bluetooth speaker, and it does in fact provide its own audio, and then the cameras are hidden away inside the body, but once we press down on the top, the 360 degree cameras appear. Now next up, we've got the Kandal Meeting Pro. If we open up this box, we first get the Kandal Meeting Pro inside its carry case, we get the manual, the USB cables, the remote, and the power plug. The Kandal Meeting Pro is a tall 360 degree meeting camera that can easily be placed anywhere to enjoy a hassle-free conference. Finally, we get the Kandal Meeting S. Inside the box, we get the Kandal Meeting S along with its carry case, we get the manual, the USB cable, the remote control, and the power adapter. The Kandal Meeting S is the smallest of the three, it's a 180 degree camera instead of a 360, and this one is great for smaller rooms. So by this point, you're probably wondering what these cameras are and what makes them so special. Well, the Kandal meeting cameras allow you to take a remote conference at any time, any place, with anyone. They deliver a much more immersive remote conferencing experience, and instead of huddling around a laptop or webcam, you simply place it on the table and you're good to go. The Kandal conference cameras use AI recognition to automatically focus on the active speaker in the room, and we've got multiple camera modes to individually frame each person in the room, along with showing the whole room at once. Now, we've also got a spinning function where it's going to spin around the room and show the active speaker at the same time. So rather than making different models to focus on different prices, they've rather made different models for different situations and gone with a good, better and best strategy. They all work incredibly well, just some have different features and they're aimed at different situations. So to start with, we've got the Kandal Meeting Pro. This is designed for a medium to large meeting room. It's fairly compact and it contains a 360 camera system to make sure everyone in the room is included. There are no moving parts and we instead have a 220 degree camera on the front and the back and this allows it to output a 360 degree field of view. The great thing about the Kandal Meeting Pro is that you can use it with your computer or laptop by connecting with USB or you can use it completely standalone thanks to its built-in Android operating system. In the standalone mode we simply connect it to a display with an HDMI cable, we can then start up the camera and we've got apps for all of the popular video conferencing services like Zoom, Skype, Google Meet and more. The the Kandal Meeting Pro can connect to the internet via Wi-Fi or the Ethernet port on the bottom, and we can even put an SD card inside the Kandal Pro if you want to record a meeting that you're having. For those wanting to use with a laptop or computer, things couldn't be any simpler. You simply plug it in via USB and you're ready to go. It's plug and play and it's going to automatically set up your camera and it's going to be ready to use with conferencing applications. When it comes to the video, two cameras record a 360 degree field of view and this is at an 8K resolution of 8000 by 3000. It then outputs the significant parts of the video at 1080p to provide great footage of each participant to use on the conferencing service of your choice. When it comes to video modes, we first get global mode, now this is a 180 degree field of view on the top, then we've got the same on the bottom showing the other half of the room, so this gets you all participants in two shots. We then have discussion one mode, now this shows a panorama view showing all participants, and then we've got two bigger windows that's going to show the current speaker using the AI technology. We then get discussion two, now this shows a panoramic view on top, but this time it adds four people at once on the bottom windows and again it uses AI to show the active speaker at the time. We've got patrol mode where the left side of the screen is going to be the active speaker talking and then on the right side it's going to slowly rotate around the whole room and it will just keep rotating slowly. And finally we have presentation mode. Now this is sort of your standard conferencing screen, it's just one big screen and it shows the active speaker. If someone else then speaks the camera's going to change to them and no one has to move. 
When it comes to conferencing, you do also have the view lock feature if you don't want it to change, and it also has the ability to zoom in and out, as well as automatically panning. Now, all these functions work well, both in standalone mode, as well as being used on a laptop or computer. The Candel Meeting Pro also has a high quality loudspeaker, meaning you don't have to rely on those tinny laptop speakers, and it has an eight microphone array system with beamforming technology, and this achieves a microphone coverage of five and a half meters. There's of course a mute function on the remote as well as the device itself, so you can press this at any time if you don't want to be heard in the conference. Now you can use the remote to control the camera system and change modes during a conference, or you can simply press the buttons on the body, and it even comes with a lens cover for those concerned about privacy when you're not using it. Now next we've got the Candal Meeting. You can see this is a bit bulkier than the Pro, and it almost looks like a Bluetooth speaker. The Candal Meeting doesn't have the built-in Android OS, but it's great for those that want to use with a computer or laptop. To turn it on, we simply press down in the middle to reveal another 360 camera system. Now this has similar video modes as the Pro, but it's missing the patrol mode, view locking, as well as zooming. Now again, the Candel meeting records at 8K. It then outputs the significant parts at 1080p. We've got eight omnidirectional microphones to track who's speaking, and this can pick up in a four meter radius. It's got a built-in loudspeaker that makes the conferencing much more enjoyable than your usual laptop speakers. And again, we've got that microphone mute button on the body if you don't want to be heard. It delivers the same high quality and enjoyable experience as the Pro, it's just got less of the features. So essentially, if you're always gonna work with your laptop or computer, then this could be a great choice. Last, but by no means least, we've got the Candal Meeting S. Now this is the smallest of the range, but as I said earlier, their strategy is provide a good system for all situations. With the Candal Meeting S, they haven't just stripped out all the features, they've instead designed this one for smaller rooms. It's small and portable, it's got a built-in Android system to use standalone, but again, you can connect to the computer if you want to. The main difference with the Candal Meeting S is that we only have one camera, and this is only a 180 degree field of view. It also contains the Candal Meeting AI3 algorithm that's both smarter and faster. Now we've got slightly different video modes on the Candal Meeting S. With this camera we get an ultra wide mode that provides a 190 degree field of view and it's just going to display all participants on the screen at once. We have single person mode. Now this is going to use the smart tracking AI and it's only going to show the current speaker on the screen. We've got two attendees mode which as the name suggests it's going to show two people on screen if there's more than two people present, it's only going to show the active speakers. Now finally, we've got multi-attendees mode, and this is for five people or more. The active speaker will be displayed on a larger view on the left, with the other attendees on the right. The Candal Meeting S has Wi-Fi, Ethernet, as well as a micro SD card slot. It can be controlled via the remote or using the buttons on the body, and you can change volume, mute the mics, or change the video mode. Its small compact design makes it great for small spaces, and we've got full duplex audio system for great sound output as well. Now I have to say, I really like the white design of the Meeting S, and again, we've got a camera cover for those concerned about privacy. So overall, they're a great set of conference cameras that take the hassle out of remote working. You can place them down, turn them on, and you're good to go wherever you're sat in the room. If you spend a lot of time in meeting rooms sat round tables, then the Candal Meeting or the Candal Meeting Pro is going to be the right choice, but if your conferences are from home or with a small team, then the Candal Meeting S will be the one. So hopefully I've covered everything in this video, and of course I've placed links to all three cameras down in the description, but if there's anything I've missed or you do have any questions, then simply leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. They're also having a trial ambassador recruitment program, so if you want the chance to be the global Candel Meeting product trial ambassador, then simply click the link down in the description below. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.